file had the sister of the woman who was executed on. And there are many questions. I want you to listen to some of these sound bites about the poor black woman who was executed by the by the feds that are really shocking. We're going to play the uh, clip first. I actually I want to cut to the chase. This you're not going to believe. I want you to play clip 13, play please, in the Savage Nation. A lot of that footage is showing um, her actually trying to flee the scene. We still don't know from point A to point B exactly all the details that made this um, transpire. Um, one question that really comes into my mind is when was she shot and how that happened? Mm-hmm. Now here's clip 12. Listen to this one. Well, there are many questions that can be raised. You, you see vehicles that have massive damage, yet and still my sister's vehicle does not have front-end damage, rear-end damage. There's questions. Any logical person can just look at what's being presented and ask the questions. Now here comes the shocker. This is going to scare you to death. Those of you who were skeptical of my covering the execution of Miriam Carey by the Federales, I didn't know until today that they took the baby out of the car before they killed Miriam Carey. That means that this was a targeted assassination. Listen to clip 14. So when the baby was being carried away, was she then shot again? I've seen foot, um, some type of um, interviews online as others when you uh, Google and research this event that there is an eyewitness saying that she actually was able to see from a window the incident happening and the baby was carried from the car and then the fires continued to shot. That sounds like an execution to me. That sounds like there was some... the, the car was contained why was she still shot um it just really does not add up for us now we then jump to cnn where i was shockingly even cnn is covering the issue of them taking the child out of the car and then killing miriam carey no one knows why they killed her listen to number 15 i saw them trying to pull someone from the car and realized when they actually pulled someone from the car it was a child and it takes you back a little bit at that moment and as soon as the child was pulled from the cars when the gunfire really let loose. I heard the gunshots. I saw the policeman shooting. It appeared someone got out, and it looked like a rush of people running. So at that particular time, you didn't know if, if there was more suspects involved. So they took the baby out of the car and then killed Miriam Carey. Why? This is on CNN. Now listen to number 16. At first, when you go to the window, you go and just wondering what is happening. Because when you hear the police cars and the sirens, you, you, you know, as a interested person, want to look. But then when the gunfire started, I stepped back from the window. But then out of curiosity, you wanted to peer around just to see. And then it became very involved. A lot of gunfire, a lot of police, a lot of security. And at that particular time, I went back downstairs and came right out the door to ask the police what was going on. Mm-hmm. So if you get into the conspiracy side of this execution, it's an execution. If they took the baby out of the car and then shot the woman, what's the explanation for that? There's no support anymore for the issue that many of you have said, well, she, you know, bounced guys off the car. She was a clear and present danger. Her car was a, a weapon. I've heard that argument. Then why did they remove the child and then kill her? It sounds to me like they were targeting her. There's something wrong with this picture. Now we move across the uh, sea, the Atlantic Ocean, to England. Mm -hmm. 